So you're ready to start your uh, programming with Lego Mindstorms. Here's what you do. Go into the bottom left-hand corner where it says type here to search and start by typing Lego. Now if you see this right here, Lego Mindstorms Education EV3 Desktop App with that logo, that is the correct program. If it doesn't look like that, uh, call me over because your computer probably doesn't have the software installed yet. But since this one has it, I'm going to launch it by clicking on it once. <clears throat> once this loads, you'll see the screen for the Lego Mindstorms. And mine might look a little different than yours. But you're going to go over to the left side and look for the robot educator. Mine says tutorials. Uh, if yours looks different, as long as it says robot educator, you're okay. Now we're going to start with basics. And if yours has the first lesson under basics as configuring blocks, skip that one and go to the one that is called straight move. Two ways you can start it. You can double click right here and it will uh, launch the project, or you can go over here to where it says open and click to open it. So right now you have a new uh, file, a new tab here that says straight move, and it has the lesson over here where it shows you your objective. Now when you play the video here, this is what your robot is going to do if you program it successfully. So it's off. And then, uh, let's do that again. So it's going to back up, go up to the line again, and then back up one more time. Up here, you'll see you have one of five slides. When you go to the second one, uh, if it says build it, you already built it, so you can go to slide three. Slide three shows you the entire program to make it go back, forward again, and then back again. Now, these blocks here, it says click blocks to play. So when you click on this one, it shows you what it does. So this block right here is the one responsible for making your robot move back. This one, oh, you see how it did a little hop there? Uh, it's actually a wait time when you hover over it, see how it says wait dash time one second. And then this one makes it go forward. So you can compare these two. This one makes it go back. This one makes it go forward. This one, probably figured out, makes it wait again. <clears throat> and then this one makes it go back. Oh, all right. So now you know what you're going to do. Go to the next slide, slide four of five, and it says test it. Recreate the program shown, then download and run to test. Now here's the nice thing, when you click on these blocks, it highlights in blue the block you need. So you can just click and drag it up here to put it on there. And this one's called Move Steering. This one's called Move Steering. There you go, you got the right one. Now look at these things here, they're called parameters. This is how you make the robot, or the steering part of the robot, the motors, do something. This one's set to zero, so is mine. Good to go. This one's set to 50, so is mine. And this is steering. This is power, 50%. Now this one is on for rotations, and this is on for rotations. The only difference is they have it for two seconds. I have it for or two rotations. I have it for one, so I'm going to change that to a two. There. The rest is the same. Now I go to this next one. Oh, look at that. It took me right to it. I'm going to put the wait block over here, and it says wait time one second. Ooh, look at that. Time one second. I'm good to go. Now I'm going to put another one of these moves steering. Now you're going to find out that as you keep putting uh, blocks, it's going to go behind where the lesson is. Well, I don't want that. Here's what you can do. If you try to move this block, it moves separately of all of them. And you see how they all grayed out? That's because without this one, your program won't start. 
So I'm going to put this back. I'm going to show you a trick. If you click on the white and hold down, see how I've got a box? I just selected all the blocks at the same time so I could move it down here and continue to put on the next block. So I'm going to put on the next block, and I'm going to make sure they look the same. This one is move steering degrees. Oop, this one's on for rotation. So if I click here, oh, look at this. I can change what it does. Uh, I needed degrees, so I'm going to choose on for degrees. This is zero. This one's minus 50 and then 720 degrees. So I'm going to change that to minus 50 and 720 degrees. Now the weight block is still one second, and I've got mine for one second. And then this one, all right, let's see. This one's move steering for seconds, one second. So I'm going to change it again. Off, on, up, oh, on for seconds. There it is. Zero, fifty, one. I've got zero, fifty, and one. There. That is perfect. Now, before you test it, let me show you a couple of things that I, I recommend you do. This is called the Straight Move Project. This is the actual name of the program. Now, the name program for a program that makes a, a robot move is not a very descriptive name. So if you double click on here, change it to move back and forward. That way, when you go to your robot to actually choose the program, you're going to know exactly what that one does because the name of the program tells you exactly what it does. And then last but certainly not least, go to file. Just like any other program, you can open up a new project, uh, I mean, you can start a new project, open an old one that you started yesterday, or you can save. Right now, I want you to save it. And since it's called Straight Move, I'm going to call it Straight Move again so I don't get confused. And then click on Save. And I already replace it. There. Now I'm ready to test it. So what I do is I'm going to connect my PC cable to my brick and to uh, my computer, with the USB part going to the computer, and see if it does what it's supposed to in the video. Once you've tested it and your partner has tested it, you can go on to the fifth one, which is always telling you to modify it. Now make it do something, uh, or it says, make the driving base do the exact same movement using the move tank block. So try that. Where you mod when you modify is when you start learning how to use these and make them work for you. So that's it. Good luck.